Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Mara Doctor here with another review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Dr. Webb Curate Live CD. There is no antivirus or anti-malware program that is installed in this computer at this time. So it is extremely vulnerable to any form of malware that I throw at it. In order to test out the bootable disk, I first need to infect the system. So I have a pack of malware on the desktop here to help me with that. Let me open up Kill Switch and we will begin infecting the computer. Alright, let's begin. I'm just going to keep going until I believe the computer is infected enough for it to be necessary to scan with a bootable anti-malware CD. Windows Security Center service has been turned off. It appears that malicious activity can be attributed to that. All right, it appears a piece of ransomware that looks very familiar to something that I encountered during one of my previous tests has locked up the computer. So I believe now is as good a time as any to get out the bootable CD, and I will be back. All right, everybody, I'm back. I've booted into Dr. Web Live CD. It looks like it is built off of a Linux distro. Anyway, uh, before I do the scan, something that I really like about Dr. Web's scanner is that not only will remove malicious programs, but it will also disinfect files that are corrupted with malware because sometimes patching viruses such as Solidity or Virid, such as Solidity or Virid will infect legitimate Windows files and processes and deleting those files and processes that are critical to Windows will possibly corrupt the whole operating system. So that is one thing that I really like about Dr. Web Scanner. So anyway, let's begin the scan. I can do a full scan or a custom scan. For the full scan, it'll automatically scan master boot record. It'll also scan the C drive. You have a quarantine up here. The results will be displayed here. The tools, you can send suspicious files to Dr. Webb and help. And there's also a forum. On the desktop, we have, looks like we have a mail client. We have uh, an option to create a live USB vaccination with Dr. Web on it. A Dr. Web scanner, which we have open. There's also a web browser for Firefox. Anyway, let's begin. I will do the scans and I'll be back. All right, the scan is finished. The default action is cure. I will select here.
I think I'd have to select all of them. I mean, I'm going to select all of them in a moment, but let's quickly see what it found. 53 threats were detected. 52 were determined infected, with one was marked as suspicious. Most of the files detected were in the malware pack, but right up here we can see the ones that were not. Backdoor agent, Win32, something in roaming, Trojan downloader, and I know there might be a couple more scattered around in here, and this one right here, Trojan.winlock, uh, I was very suspicious this is what was locking up the system before, so now that that is removed, we will see if we can boot back into normal Windows operating mode. Now I will cure all of these threats, and I will be back. Alright, I have booted back up into Windows. It appears whatever ransomware was locking up the computer is no more. What I'm going to do now is run a scan with Marabytes and Hitman Pro, and see what was left behind, and I'll be back. Alright everybody, I'm back. Hitman Pro detected several items that needed to be repaired. It appears that ransomware has damaged the Windows Defender, which is built into Windows 7, not the Windows Defender for Windows 8. It also appears my thumbnails for my taskbar for Hitman Pro and Malwarebytes have been damaged by the malware. As you can see, disabling Windows Defender, Hitman Pro's option is set to repair. The file does not exist and may cause an error during startup. It also appears explore.dll. That's in temp. This one is this one is not a temp file. Detected by Icarus along with Hitman Pro, I guess. SVC host has been infected. Well, that's probably just a fake SVC host if I had to guess. I don't know why it's detecting anything on the desktop because I have removed everything that was on the desktop. Here's we also have a worm. Here's we have something in application data. Another one in application data. All of which appear to be detected by Icarus. And we have another one in application data. Let's see what Narrowbytes found. Found 19 threats. Let's see what it found. All right, these were already on the desktop. I don't know where it is coming up with this because I I deleted the folder before I ran the scan. Anyway, it found a malwarepacker.iv in current version one report. A spyware keylogger in temp. Attention want a program in temp. A Trojan inject dot RRE. That is not temp. It looks like there's a file and registry value associated with that. There's also a Trojan agent. Looks like another Trojan agent. And there is a generic Trojan. So anyway, this might not look very good, but in my opinion, Dr. Webb did an alright job. It allowed me to boot back up into Windows normal operating mode. From here on out, I can fix the errors that have been left behind after a malware infection, which is very typical. When you have a piece of ransomware, usually there will be damage to your registry values, files, the security center, as you had seen. So, it didn't do too bad of a job. So, that is the end of my review. Take from as you wish, and I will talk to you later.